Without further ado, there are going to be four of us up here taking part in Todd Michael Edgerton's I'm Asking You to Take Apart Peace. Two of whom are the box committee members this year, Nicole Higgins and Sunday Bartonick, and Josh Hussey, the third one, is in the audience back there. And also reading with me who got um, pulled into this is uh, Geraldine Huddleston, who is a recently graduated PhD, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
describe a person you love. How would you know them without their face? I love my mother, her voice. Tictish bleed of his laugh, his radiant temperature, his lanky pranksterisms. I would know her voice anywhere. I would know her smell. I would know her from her language and her laugh and the way her brain works. She's smart and caring and funny. She's ambitious, but in a good way. She wants to change people's minds about their behavior, encourage them to care more about how they interact with each other and how they use the Earth's resources. And did I mention she's funny? I would know her voice, the fast tumble of words. Even without language, I'd know her habit of little burrs between sentences, mmms and errs, like tiny motors idly. How did you first know you were in love, and what makes you unsure of it? Amazing sex. Love's a funny thing on and off like a light switch. One night of good sex and nothing else matters. What besides love do you doubt, and what makes you doubt it? I don't doubt it. I doubt everything. I'm Catholic. How did you first know you were in love? I knew I was in love with her when I knew a big fight was coming, and I decided to not be afraid and to engage with her in a fair and loud disagreement. I'm not good at fights, but I'm starting to value them. He felt like a place I could pat around and wear feet in, although sometimes I feel most honest when I'm utterly alone. And what makes you unsure of it? I don't doubt it. But love grows and changes over time. There are no guarantees. I was never unsure of the love I felt. Our correspondence to one another, atom to atom, each atom of our bodies, included each of us being stubborn, independent, etc. It is not as if there were never conflict or tension, and she was a better fighter than I. She could be a real terrorist. There were times I was unsure of her love for me, but of my love for her, never. That certainty can make me restless. If you could, what gift that is impossible for you to give would you offer, and to whom? Why this specific gift to this specific person or persons? The will to live which I would give to any person considering killing themselves because of depression, because I have known people who did and saw the wave of grief it leaves. In what ways have you betrayed or disappointed yourself or others? Sins of omission. In what way have you been betrayed or disappointed? On the losing side of compromise too many times. In what way have you betrayed or disappointed yourself or others? Tourists disappoint me. I disappoint myself as a tourist. In what way have you been betrayed or disappointed? I don't know. I don't want to be a pointer, but most things disappoint me. In what way have you betrayed or disappointed yourself or others? I think I've probably betrayed, I've probably disappointed everyone who's ever known me. In what way have you been betrayed or disappointed? I've been betrayed and disappointed by silence and perfection. In what way have you betrayed or disappointed yourself or others? Christ Todd, you've met people, right? 